All right, folks. So uh, I guess YouTube and my camera didn't work out the last time around because it took forever to upload and didn't finish it upload. So hopefully, you know, I'll get it done here. So uh, just just watched UFC 135. Uh, that was actually a pretty good paper, pretty pretty good, you know, pay per view. Uh, it was actually the first time I ever saw a UFC pay per view, and you know, I had a lot of fun watching it. And uh, so we had uh, Nate Diaz in the lightweight. Uh, fight Matt Nate Diaz, uh, former winner I believe of the Ultimate Fighter, uh, versus Takanori Gami, the Rio. Um, you know, all I gotta say is Nate, Nate Diaz basically beat the living hell out of freaking Takanori Gami. I mean, Takanori Gami got a few shots, but Nate Diaz was just going at him until he finally just dropped him down for an armbar. Uh, Nate Diaz, you know, tapped out of it. Uh, so, you know, the fight was over in the first round via submission of the on bar, I believe. According to Wikipedia, it was 4 minutes and 27 seconds uh, into the fight so itself. So, you know, this was a quick fight and, you know, by far the quickest fight of the whole entire night, basically. So, you know, it was pretty good, pretty impressive to see it. I, I enjoyed watching it. Then we had the heavyweight uh, fight between Travis... Brown uh, versus Rob Broughton. Uh, this was kind of a slow fight. I mean, it just felt like these guys got tired pretty easily. You know, it was like after the first round, it was just like, oh, you know, you know, I'll take it down. Oh, no, I'll punch. I'll punch him again. You know, it was just, it just felt like it was kind of going slow a bit. And I was just thinking, okay, I know these guys are kind of big. You know, but let's try to keep up the momentum here. But, you know, I never really picked up a bit. But it was still enjoyable to watch nonetheless. I mean, uh, you know, these guys just basically hustled they, they tried so hard to, you know, remain, stay at it type of deal. So, uh, we had, uh, you know, this going to third three rounds and ending in three rounds, uh, by unanimous decision, uh, Travis Brown won. Yeah, he won. So, yeah. Then we had, uh, God, what is that? Something just popped up. Uh, we just had a heavyweight fight between Mark Hunt, not Mark Hunt, Mark Hunt, uh, against Ben Rockwell and this was a dirty match you could say dirty just because of the fact that you know Ben this Ben Rockwell got busted open and was bleeding in his head uh, you know and these guys were just just going at it like there was like no tomorrow type of deal it's, I really enjoyed this one despite being dirty you know I enjoyed it and it was just, to me it was just kind of fun to watch pretty much uh, so Mark Hunt just boom you know Ben Rothwell for a bit there and then you know Ben Rothwell's trying to get out and next thing you know uh, the bell rings and uh, Mark Hunt won via unanimous decision so then we get to the welterweight fight Matt Hughes against Josh Koscheck now I know a lot some people don't like not a huge fan of Josh Koscheck uh, have you ever heard of you know Chase Oliver 68 and ankle breaker AJ2 you know what I'm talking about uh, but, you know, Josh Koscheck, as much as Matt Hughes, he tried so hard to get into, you know, Josh Koscheck, but Koscheck just kept punching and punching and punching and punching and punching at Hughes, and Hughes halfway through the fight was just like, just looked like a sitting duck, he was just knocked out of it, and Koscheck just knocked him out type of deal, which, you know, literally knocked him out, so it was the end of the first round, and I believe it was 4 minutes and 59 seconds into the fight, so Koscheck ends up winning. And last but not least, the main event, light heavyweight champ title, John Jones. You know, the guy's been, you know, holding that belt for not that long. Versus Quentin Rampage Jackson. Uh, this was a good fight. This was a good fight, and I know a lot of people were surprised by the result of it. Uh, just, to me, it was just a good, fun fight to watch. Uh, these guys didn't even go to three rounds. It just it had to go farther than that just because they were just going at it. You know, at one point, I believe it was John Jones that elbowed Jackson, made him kind of bust it open a bit. Uh, then, you know, got to four rounds. And in a minute and 14 seconds of the fourth round, John Jones puts him in a freaking headlock and makes Rampage Jackson tap out. That's right. Quentin Rampage Jackson himself tapped out. So, yeah. Jones, John, John, John Jones, say that time was best, uh, retained his light heavyweight title. Uh, congratulations to him. And uh, overall, that's it for me with this UFC 135, 135 fight. Peace out, guys. I'm out.